In the excitement and confusion of a fight staged by Tarzan, Dono and Ukar, the Ratorian, climb unobserved to the roof of a watchtower on the edge of the wall surrounding the city of Tor. Later, in an attempt to scale the wall under cover of darkness, the two men are recaptured by the Torians and sentenced by Artea to the fires of Tor. Tarzan, O'Rourke, Jeanette, and Ashley are confined in a dungeon to await death by sacrifice. Wong Tai escapes the sentence through his suave flattery of the Torian queen. High in the wall of their dungeon, Tarzan discovers the entrance of a narrow tunnel through which he leads his companions to a large cavern from which several lighted corridors branch off. At the sound of approaching voices, the little group hastens into one of the corridors. Rounding a sharp turn, they're abruptly confronted by a huge, snarling black leopard chained to the wall directly in their path. Behind them, the voices of the approaching yellow men grow louder. By Jove, Tarzan, we're in for it. We can't go back. Those yellow devils are coming along this passage. And we can't go ahead. That savage brute would tear us to rags. Oh, what can we do? Isn't there some way we can get by him? The chain's too long, Kushla. It reaches clear across the corridor. What the devil's the idea of tying a leopard in an open passageway like this anyway? By Jove, I believe he's chained beside the entrance to a branch passage. Look there, Tarzan. Isn't that a... Right. And that's where we're going. Whatever we decide on doing, we've got to do it quickly. Those fellows are getting closer. They'll never look for us in a tunnel guarded by Sheeta. Oh, but we can't even pass him, let alone get into that corridor. Never mind that. You stay here. Watch the passage beyond from this bend. I'll take care of Sheeta. When I call O'Rourke, get into that corridor fast. Eyes alertly watching Sheeta, Tarzan walks steadily toward the great black jungle terror, whom even new mother lion hesitates to attack. Snarling savagely, Sheeta sinks slowly to the ground, gathering himself for the charge. The cruel yellow eyes blaze evilly as the ape man moves cautiously forward. Suddenly, with a blood chilling scream of savage rage, Sheeta bounds forward. Quick as thought, Tarzan throws himself aside. Sheeta, screaming angrily, flashes past his shoulder. He grasps the chain, jerks the black killer to a standstill on his hind legs. Like an arrow shot from a bow, the ape man leaps in. His mighty arms encircle the brute's neck in a death dealing stranglehold. At the bend in the corridor, O'Rourke, Jeanette, and Ashley watch in fascinated silence the approaching yellow men, momentarily forgotten. Lifting the black terror clear of the ground, Tarzan shouts, Now, into the tunnel, quick! Come on, Jeanette! Hey, he's got it! Three disappear into the mouth of a cross passage. Tarzan, dragging the snarling, fighting brute with him, backs into the entrance of the tunnel just as several yellow men appear round the bend in the main corridor. The ape man's steel muscled arms tighten about the black throat in one mighty effort. She emits a last choked snarl. Tarzan drops the half strangled brute to the ground. In two strides, he has overtaken his companion. Come on. Those men won't come to the mouth of this tunnel because of Sheeta. But to be on the safe side, we'll get out of sight. Faith, if they find the dead cat, they'll know that we're around. Sheeta is not dead, only choked a little. You didn't kill the brute? No, for the very reason O'Rourke has in mind. If they had bound Sheeta dead, they would have known of our presence in this tunnel. I'll be gutty now what? The tunnel's going up. And a pretty steep ascent, too. Any idea where we are, Tarzan? Somewhere under the central tower. That's as near as I can guess. Well, why do you suppose that leopard is chained out there in front of that corridor? To keep anyone from entering this passage. Oh, but surely, but why just this passage more than any other? There must be something at the end or in this tunnel that our tail wants protected. Well, we'll probably find out before long. There are several things I'd like to find out. How Wong contrived to get into the good graces of our tail so quickly. And if Dano and Uka got clear. Yes, that's so. As far as the Chinese concerned, I, I hope Atea feeds him to the lions. But the Lieutenant Anuka, back there on the wall, Tarzan, he, he told us he'd explain. Well, there's not much to explain, O'Rourke. The idea was Uka's. We were to start a fight to draw the guard's attention, so he and Darno could get to the roof of the watchtower and hide until dark. But even if they do succeed in escaping, where will they go? To Rator, if they get away. I understand that the Shan Rator, Yuka's father, and Artea are enemies. Have been for years. Uka intends to head the Ratorians in an attack on Tor. Oh, well, why didn't you let us in on the plan, old chap? Uh, there was no time. Uka and I agreed on it while we were crossing the bridge from the palace to the wall. Even Darno didn't know. 
Well, Bigari, I, I hope they make it. Whether they get back here in time to do us any good or, or not. My, but it's getting warm. Who it's climbing is hot work. By Jove, it, it is warm. But I don't think it's the exertion of climbing, my dear. No. I think that... Did you hear that? Listen. I don't hear anything, Terry. Oh, it's gone now. A rumbling noise like... Like a fire o'clock. Just that. Did you hear? There it is again. Yes. Yes, I hear it now. What, what can it be, Tarzan? Why did it come and go like that? Fire. That accounts for the heat and the smell of sulfur. Why the sound rises and falls, I don't know. It's getting insufferably hot in here. And look, the roof of the passage, there where it appears to level out. The reflection of fire. A few more steps and we'll be at the top of the incline. Come on. Good. Good heavens. Why, it's a, a column of fire. Oh, it is the home of the devil himself. Look, bars across the end of the passage. We can't go any farther. Tarzan and his companions stand peering fascinated through the massive metal bars into a vast cavern. Roaring, hissing past them, a huge pillar of bluish flame licks hungrily at the roof of the cavern. Above, where the roof forms a natural cone, a square section formed of massive stone blocks, obviously the handiwork of man, may be seen. As they watch spellbound, the monstrous column of blue flame sweeps up scorchingly and licks like the tongue of a hungry dragon, a square section of stone blocks. With a deep rumbling sound heard above the roar of the fire, the center block slides open. The tip of the flame darts up through the opening. Instantly the trap is closed, the pillar of fire drops down past them, down a hundred feet into a seething, bubbling lake of fire. Past where they stand, rigid with horror, flashes a gigantic yellow figure. One long drawn dying shriek and the figure vanishes in the fiery pit. Oh, oh, this is horrible. Let's get away. Ah, oh, Bigotti. Now I know where we are. That movable block of stone up there. Atea's chamber of sacrifice. The heathen idol of gold. Right. This must be the pit of the fires of Tor. The fire we saw come through the floor. And that poor devil that fell down in that, that hell just now. Oh, by the saints. Will he look over there? A natural stone bridge across the pit from this side to the other. This passage opens onto a wide ledge just beyond these bars. There's another ledge over there on the other side of the bridge. There must be some way of opening this thing. You don't mean... You don't mean we're going to cross this bridge? Behind us, Jeanette, Sheeta the Leopard and the Yellow Men. If we can get through this barrier, cross that bridge, we may find a way out through the passage over there. But, but Tarzan, it's a pillar of fire. It, it comes up while we're on that bridge. I wouldn't worry about that, old girl. I believe the fire rises only when that stone up there is open. It forms a draft and draws the flames up. Oh, but even if we get across, isn't that another set of bars at the mouth of that passage over there? If we find how to open these, the others will be easy. There, there must be a lever or, or handle or something, O'Rourke. Not a thing. Not so much as even a button. I've pushed and pulled at every bar and... Oh, big God, it is opening. One of the bars. Which one did you pull? Faith and I don't know. I, all of them. Those over there must open the same way. We'll find the right one. Come on. We'll leave this one open in case we have to come back. We'll need asbestos boots, my friend. At Tarzan. Your bare feet. Let me worry about that, Jeanette. Anyway, the bridge swings round behind the column of fire. Come, we're wasting time. Careful, Jeanette. Here, give me your hand. This thing is no more than a foot bridge. Take her other hand, Dr. Rock. You two go ahead. I'll carry her. You've got to get across in a hurry before that trap up there opens again and draws the fire up. Go on, Ashley. Rock. Oh, be goody. These stones are as hot as the devil. Hurry, Major. Me, me feet are burning up. Tarzan, look. Down there, into that bubbling cauldron of fire. Oh, I never could have crossed it alone. We'll be on the other side in a minute. I'll never forget this as long as I live. If we ever get out of this awful place alive, I'm through following Uncle Jim and his... Here we are. This ledge is wider than the one we left. Have you found the bar that opens the gate, O'Rourke? 
Not yet. I'm hope. Ah, there you are. Oh, come on. I will close this one. And now, where to? On down the corridor. It's wide and well lighted. Another cross corridor. Begot it is an amazing place, this honeycombed with underground passageways and caverns. Volcanic rock, undoubtedly. No human hands could have done all this. Well, which way do we go? Doesn't make much difference, does it? These passageways are all alike. Quiet. Begot it, this snake's den seems to be alive with all Quiet. Cats. Yellow men coming. Only two. Here. We'll get behind this projection. They're coming down that cross corridor. You'll see where they go and follow. By the saints. Will he look? Chained together between them two? 